Hi, I'm Robin with Robin 33. This week we are using all items that I purchased from the thrift store. I'm recording a different video every night. So we have this um, fabric that I'm going to attach to this embroidery hoop. Now I cut it about a good inch past the side. Um, ticking fabric is what it's called. It's got like a vintage vibe to it. Americana. But I have two pieces of ribbon that we're going to put across here. One says stars in and then stripes we're going to put across here. I'm going to zoom you in so you have a little bit There we go. So you can see a little bit of what's going on close up. All right. Then we're going to attach a few stars to it. I left them kind of plain um, because I kind of like that, that color. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually place these in the hoop. Just like that. And then we're going to put this down. Well, let's go this way. These hoops were like a dollar something at the thrift store and then 20% off of that. So for under, definitely under five bucks, we're going to have a really unique looking hanger. I want to pull some of this through and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to glue this fabric under. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish off the ends of the um, ribbon. This is two and a half inch ribbon, wired ribbon. Like I said, we're going to hot glue some of these on here. Kind of like that. I wasn't sure if I want to just dovetail this and let this hang over. Kind of like that. stretch this fabric out a little more to make it kind of like tight. be posting another video tomorrow and then that will lead up to Second Chance Saturday. Every Saturday I post a video on repurposing something from the thrift store. this through and then we're going to hot glue it. Thank you. 
want to just check it first. Make sure we're still good. We are. All right. stay in place and will not pop out. lot of things you can do with embroidery hoops. I was able to pick up quite a few. 14, 12s, and 8s. So keep watching. We're going to have more projects with our embroidery hoops. A very versatile way of crafting and decorating. It lends itself to many designs, whether they be farmhouse or or um, primitive or anything. You can make a wreath out of this. There's a lot you can do with embroidery hoops. I saw one of my crafting friends, Rachel from Unique Crafts. She used it to make a bunny at Easter. So you can really do a lot of neat things with embroidery hoops. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would hope that you would. And then I would hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I have affiliate links to artistic Painting Studio, Hardworking Mom, When in doubt, use your needle nose pliers so you don't burn your fingers. <laughs> don't think you can get it. Stretch it with the needle nose. One thing I always keep on my craft table is aloe. You can get a big bottle of it at Target and I keep it in a anchor um, glass container. I used to do classes, wreath classes in my home and I did burn myself really good. So 
now I keep it right within reach because you can do some serious damage with a glue gun as I'm sure if you work with a glue gun you've burned yourself once or twice just a good thing to keep on hand and it's not that expensive and it lasts a long time okay so there we go we've got stars and stripes all right let's glue our stars in place here I did have three there we go like that one up there. So we're going to put that one up top. I changed my mind on the ribbon. I think I'm going to go with the red, white, and blue. I think that looks more Americana than this, the one I had, that one. So we're going to change it up to that. I think that lends itself to the design better with the three solids together. So, I want to get that in there as the hanger. And then I want to put these in here. Actually, one, one way, the other two the other way and then the star on top. So let's go ahead and pull, there it is, our zip tie. Actually, let's get this over that way. There we go. This is a lot of ribbon to go in this, but I think that'll do the trick. There we go. And then we will take this. Yeah, this definitely looks better. More Americana, more solid. And each tail I'm going to leave shorter than the, longer than the one before it. That really looks good, like that. Oh, much better. That one just wasn't cutting it. Actually, I think I'm going to leave the loops together and just have one peeking out under the other. I like that better. There's just that little hint there. Yes, much better. So I did five loops and I just pulled them out together. So this is going to be shorter than the one before it. bitch 
shorter. This is so lightweight. <laughs> no resistance. There we go. And let's make this just a little bit shorter than the white one. Nope, a little shorter. So it's just peeking out. Look at that, red, white, and blue. Yes. Oh, much better. Loving it. Have that show against the red. And then put our little... star in the middle and I love it there we go all right then let's fix the one I had at the bottom oops sorry about that I am a messy crafter, and I won't lie. <laughs> now, I don't think we have to do a lot of loops on this bottom. So, let's go ahead and put that together. That way we're making the design all about the fabric, and everything else is just color coordinating. So let's see. I think we're just going to do a simple two-loop bow here. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. That's just simple enough. Come on. Really doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Yes. Simple, simple, simple. Love it. Oh, much better. All right, now let's go ahead and use this red to tie this in place. I really have nowhere to d attach a zip tie there unless I poke a hole through here and go through the fabric and that is an option because that will secure it around the frame I won't have to use glue and it's basically just putting a small hole well, let me get this right small hole right here. Oh yeah. That'll work. Perfect. Alright, now we want this to be in the back. So, let's go ahead and do it up through. So we keep our zip tie in the back. The bulk of it, anyhow. Just like that. Look at that. Then we can we can put it back here in the wood, so it won't rub against the door. There we go. It's just a matter of pulling our bow up to the front. Let's push that down through there. So we have our tails coming out down below.
Now with this one, I think I will pull. Now I kind of like them together. All right. Let's see if we can pull this up towards the front. There we go. Yes. All right. And then we'll just glue this in place and do our dovetails. Much better. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening. And watch for my video tomorrow.